pretty inspiring that lesson. Definitely, definitely the, uh, the energy I can feel. I don't know whether it's like feeling the heartbeat in my hands or mm -hmm. what I was actually feeling the waves of the energy. But it felt too intermittent to be a heartbeat. It was, yeah, I could feel it in my fingers. You just get hot really quickly and mm. yeah. Especially when a beautiful lady was getting closer and closer <laughs> towards you from that end of the universe. <laughs> Tell me two billion light years away. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ashley. It um, feels like a way that I'm actually almost like observing. Like it, uh, just the, the movement is still with me and it's still. Hmm. Can I just explain something because mm -hmm. some people are uh, maybe who are watching the film just now who are not aware of the term wuji, see? So actually a very quick way to get into the definition is that we tend to avoid the void in our daily lives. Okay? So if you run out of things to say to a friend, you feel like uh oh I gotta make myself interesting. I got Talk about the weather, talk about politics, talk about anything. To try to fill up the void. Okay? Now, in our practice, emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, we say, what happens if you stop avoiding the void? And sink. Excellent, yeah. Keep going, yes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Absolutely amazing. I feel also connected very much to waves. Mm -hmm. Waves of very much smiling energy that, that carries different qualities, really. Mm -hmm. Same time as a deep ascent of stones, I don't know if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Kind of em empty. Mm. Empty and there's something moving and there's an emptiness both. Mm. But it feels very con contented. It's like even my body feels just so relaxed. Relaxed. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Master Joe, for showing this to us. It's like I've seen now what on a universal level what happens when two Bucci's come together and mm. become one and then that wave that bursts that was just shown on TV that goes through the whole universe and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's to me it's like wow now it's like an explanation of what we are learning to do <laughs> within ourselves mm. and uh, it's like I've seen I felt a wave in my life mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and now it's like yeah, they've discovered that the universe is doing that, <laughs> which is amazing. Mm. Yeah. Um, and, and when we were just practicing that, I, I just felt it, felt like it had increased only because the, yeah, the awareness that it also hap happened in the universe. And yeah. when it's officially in the news like this, it's just uh, just a confirmation that it's, mm -hmm. that it's real. Mm -hmm. Well, I believed it already and I, I felt yeah. it already as well, but it's amazing that now they're just announcing it like this. Mm. Mm. So yeah. It's amazing. It's yeah. unbelievable. But the challenge is, okay, say you're going to talk to your boss about the promotion, right? You you accept your wuji. You accept the unknown. You accept the feeling of uncertainty. You accept the feeling of emptiness, void. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, the other person may not. So the two black holes may not meet. You see, and the other person is busy trying to escape from the void inside him. <laughs> right, I'm going to London. Okay, I've got another meeting. Okay, I'm going up. Right, I'm going over here. I'm going over that. So all the time, shifting away from the void. And they don't meet. They don't slow down. In fact... They even see you as a threat. <laughs> they may see you as a, a, a problem. So it's the same thing. That's what's happening with the terrorists. They're all dressed in black, 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 black. And they're giving 
This sense of unknown, uncertainty, the Wuji, it seems to be a bad thing. Death is coming. You see? Black is death. But what happens when we discover that death is something to celebrate? The death of the cells on the skin. And new cells of the skin are being born. Even as I'm speaking, even as you're sitting right now. Countless number of, of cells of the body are saying, Yes, you know, I'm really ready to commit positive harakiri. <laughs> you know, right? right, I'm diving into death, into dying, and new cells suddenly are being born. Yes, I am here. How many of the students look much more youthful, uh, radiant, you know, and people are really worried because, you know, what's going to happen if you keep practicing for the next 50 years? You're going to grow younger and younger and younger. Not you, it's the energy. The, the birth of the new Wuji from two Wuji is what you experience. The birth of a new you must require the Wuji experience. You cannot approach the new without the death of the old. Ego. Celebrate that on a physical level, emotional, mental, spiritual level. Sabina, how was it for you? Yeah, intense, I must say. <laughs> Scientifically speaking, I had no idea that this was all going on. <laughs> for the past 25 years, they've been going on. Yeah, since yeah. I was born, they were already yeah. busy with it. Uh -huh. Admirable, the amount of persistency that they put in it. Well, I don't know, inside me it felt this intense, intense, intense cheerfulness, but not knowing why that cheerfulness it was inside <laughs> of me. It was just like a sense of, as if, as if, I don't know, as if everything came together in that moment and seeing it in front in this way that this is happening. And for me, I found it very special that last night I, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. And mm -hmm. uh, I was awake and I was sitting outside at 5 a.m. as well. Oh, uh, <laughs> then I felt for the first time the real embracing of the Wuchi inside of me connecting to love and everything like that and the mm -hmm. full acceptance of myself and maybe that was at the time that they discovered that these two <laughs> Wuchi <laughs> that this was happening and it was like oh it's amazing but no it's just um I don't know, it's very deep what I feel, but I can't really explain how I feel it. It's really intense. It feels... Yeah. I love black <laughs> and I love black holes. Mm -hmm. and I love See, is it possible that there's a yin kind of wuji meeting a yang kind of wuji, and then the yang wuji discovering its own yin nature within the wuji, and then the other one also discovers its opposite. And the way that human beings are so incredibly intelligently designed, we have the ability to understand the stars. That right now, each one of you are at that turning point to give birth to new ideas, <coughs> new projects, new relationships, new understanding of who you really are. So th this, this experience of the yin and the yang aspect of the wuji has never been philosophical, philosophically even discussed about by the Chinese scholars today. The school is moving, like you see in violet, there's a yin violet, there's a yang violet. Even in the Wuchi blackness, there is yin, there is yang. And that's what seems confusing because a lot of the time we see only the negative aspect of black. Not seeing that, wow, 
even thousands of near-death experiences say they go to the other side, they see this dark tunnel, and they feel so peaceful. They don't feel horrible in that darkness. They feel, oh, this is so nice. This is so comforting. Peace. That's what I mean by the noble peace. Hmm. The peace that needs to go to those who have held this peacefulness in their nobility. And Pam, what did you experience? Um, I saw the news last night. Hmm. And uh, I didn't know what it had to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> and you showed me tonight, um, and uh, it's so obvious. Um, <laughs> and um, so doing the practice um, was really beautiful, and I felt, I felt earth, but also uh, floating and flowing at mm. the same time, mm. and it just felt because it felt so right to be there, mm. and it, so I felt really, really happy, mm. and like I just wanted to keep going, mm. keep going. Mm. But you see, this is happening in our daily life. Like say you go to a party, okay, and everybody is chit chatting with friends, and you're sitting there by yourself, and suddenly you feel awkward because you thought. Why am I not chitty chatty chitty chatty with everybody else? Okay? There's something strange about me. That's, you know, I feel awkward. I feel lonely. I feel out of the group vibe. Okay? And you're, you're feeling this inner sense of emptiness. That is the black hole. Now, what happens to a lot of people is this sense of inner emptiness suck everything from their life into it and it becomes depression that's what depression is <laughs> because all you get is more feeling of loneliness you get what I mean? like for example, so many millions of people have divorces this, in this modern life Okay, so what happened to the divorces? they feel the void. People have breakdown in relationships, in families. What do they feel? They feel lonely, separate, feel empty. That is the wuchi, in a negative sense. Now, on a positive level, if you do not run away from this inner feeling of loneliness and emptiness, something amazing takes place. It's almost like the, the positive Wuji and the negative Wuji coming together and something amazing new happens. Now this way of perceiving about the about the black hole, the emotional black hole, has never been written about, has never been talked about. In fact, just recently I saw on TED, uh, this, uh, they're, they're talking about uh, always presenting the most amazing uh, researcher coming in and, and he was saying, yes, uh, in order to avoid loneliness, uh, you need to create friendships and genuine <laughs> relationships with, uh, with social networking, Facebook, and you know, oh. you need to connect to people, right? <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so that you feel not lonely. Right now, this goes on for about one hour, and what? What? When I heard that, what? What are you doing with people? You're leading them, misleading them away from discovering something truly amazing. To avoid the void is to waste all the emotional energy. That's why we have so much crisis happening in families. Because we don't understand how to deal with this black hole inside us. It's so exciting, you know. I mean, we, we, we can go on all night with this, you know. There's so much here. As you all know, in the FTT and the FTT, we work with this all the time. We are working with it and working with it. 
and we discover, wow, what's the connection to the birth of stars, constellations, beings of light that come from the Wuji. The birth of life itself. In the beginning, before the spark came about in the baby. You see those two black holes moving with each other. Does it remind you of birth within a mother's womb? Wow. To feel that. And all the scientists can do is to think about it. But you and I have a chance to feel it. Feel it. So next time you feel lonely, next time you feel empty, hold that. Be with it. The same advice I go to your son. Uh, he's fighting with the Wuchi inside him. And I tell him, he doesn't need this. No amount of medicine is going to drown out the Wuchi. <laughs> yes, Linda, Ivy. Yeah, beautiful. Um... Intense, very intense. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I had some challenges with connecting what I saw in the television with, with the experience we have and mm. how that was connecting to each other. So I was not sure actually in the beginning if I really understood it clearly. Mm. Mm. Um, I do feel it's not. What is it that you understand? Um, I did understand that they saw within the universe this movement happening oh. of two black holes which came together and because they came together it's starting to make the waves actually. Okay, wait, pause that. They said they collide. You know the word collision. No. It's like two cars. Okay, yeah. Banging against each other. Mm -hmm. Okay? I don't see collision. I see in the perception of Christian in the pub, everybody disappearing and you walking towards him. <laughs> <laughs> I see attraction, not repulsion, not collision. I see him getting up. <laughs> Do you see collision? I don't. I see cohesion. <laughs> I feel that. Attraction happening as he wrote text to you in the email and in the little text on the phone. Like. So there's this sense of movement happening, the attraction between two opposite sexes. Two lonely people feeling each other. Two black holes attracted to each other. No, I don't see any collision. Mm -hmm. I see sex possibly happening. <laughs> There's this sense of wonders happening. You see unity. I feel that sense of wanting. Wonders. Sabrina is smiling. Yes! <laughs> Not with Christian, something else. Yeah. <laughs> Leave him alone. Yeah. <laughs> He's mine. <laughs> so, so, this is the thing about understanding the application to your daily life. Not just doing the Tai Chi. Because when you connect to these two opposing forces, You don't see and feel that this is actually happening in your daily life. You understand it with your head and you will not get anything from that. Something new could happen when the two shall come together as one.
And when the two come together to bring the third, that new Wuchi is the birth of what I call the happyization effect that is connecting to all the light beings. There's a celebration happening. Senses is incredible celebration. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah, Lisa. Yeah, thank you very much for uh, yeah connected this news to me. It was mm -hmm. completely missed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I just miss all the news. <laughs> I felt really moved by the first video mm. without really knowing why, but it. Yeah, I don't know. But I felt really, I felt really emotional, and it's really, it feels really powerful. Although you don't share new things, it has a new kind of embodiment for me, or a new kind mm. of. Yeah, some reality or something. Mm. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I can feel it, the celebration of the Wuchi more, the, mm. the beauty of it and the, yeah, all the, the new, the possibilities, the creation. I can feel things without really understanding mentally mm. what changed, mm -hmm. but it's a new, yeah, it's a shared new embodiment or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I'm really grateful for. Mm. So, yeah, thank you very mm -hmm. much for that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Um, well, when I first saw the image of those two black holes, mm -hmm. there's, there's like two giant black eyes, like an owl mm -hmm. looking out, and uh, <laughs> I was just like, whoa! And then the eyes are spinning around. <laughs> And uh, yeah, as we've been going through this evening and this feeling of like, yeah, I feel terror actually about not really knowing what the Wuchi is, like my mind cannot explain it uh, or understand it at all. Um, but when I feel it, it's, it's different. Like, and I get so excited, I'm really excited about them, you know, saying this is the most sensitive measuring device ever and I'm like but we are feeling it in the you know when we're practicing Tai Chi how many times I've heard people say I feel the waves I feel the waves I feel the waves and I'm like <laughs> you guys scientists come into this class and you'll see <laughs> have got this device mm. otherwise we would not have been able to create the device to measure <laughs> the waves because <laughs> we've already got it the device inside like we've always been saying the tv is just an outer manifestation of the inner tv so um and um i also i also cried when i saw the when the two Became one, and the energy went through through the whole universe. And they're saying it's going through everything. It's going through every physical thing. It's going through, and I could feel it. I could feel it going through everything. And I'm like, I wonder, do any of the scientists feel it? And do any of the scientists? I'm like, maybe they actually do. Maybe they go and cry somewhere in the toilet or something. <laughs> <laughs> they feel the energy, but they can't say anything to their colleagues because it's too right brain of them to say. <laughs> God, I just found that so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're having some kind of orgasm in the, <laughs> in the same <laughs> slide. <laughs> 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 yeah, so, yeah it's, it's amazing to have it shown on a horizontal human mm. science level. And I'm excited for them to say, Oh yeah, we have measured the energy coming from the Milky Galaxy, and and there's even a sound. Mm, mm. They played the sound of mm. the waves mm. as well. Mm. Wow. Yeah. 
Amazing. Yeah. Mm. It is. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely amazing news and to hear mm. the way you brought it together. It's just kind of, I've got sparking so many, <laughs> <laughs> many exciting, so many <laughs> and, and Your head looks so radiant today. <laughs> yeah, no, it's Have you been weird. drinking? Or? No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his head. <laughs> Eating red meat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but my brother-in-law is a my brother-in-law is a rocket scientist over in over in America. So I'll have to have a word with him. So yeah, yeah. So he's been having orgasms. And stuff like that. Heard the news because, it's, but it, it's so rocket cool. rocket scientist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about Robin. Uh, Robin's email asking me to write some words for the about rainbow tai on the Google or whatever. I was thinking earlier on. I was thinking, what's special about Rainbow Tai Chi? And it's it's for me, it's bringing together so many mm. of my perceptions over the years and mm -hmm. understandings, and making sense of so many yeah. different yeah. things. And, and what you're saying tonight mm. has even explained what happened to me in South Brent this mm -hmm. afternoon. Mm -hmm. I felt I don't know what was going on in there. I went in two shops, and both times mm -hmm. at the till, it was like they were having a party. But it's just because there's, there's a long queue of people. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know what's happening at the till, but there's something happening. <laughs> Most people were just a bit weird. They did, what's going on? Like, <laughs> and I was just talk, trying to talk to someone, saying we should get the newspaper here because it's, uh, uh -huh. it's, it's the longest queue in South Brent for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went in another shop and the, 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 they're converting it into a post office and the woman there was kind of phased, completely phased. She didn't know what was going on. She just wished it would be over. She could wake up in a month's time. <laughs> <laughs> and I was joking with her and trying, trying, to, say, you know, trying to get her to let go of the way I was talking to her. Uh -huh. And um, then I went to the... But it's the energy there. I don't know. I couldn't yeah. put my finger on it. I felt something was... Yeah, yeah. Buzzing. Buzzing. And then yeah. I went to the petrol station. And when I was filling up the car, in the petrol station, the, the girl behind the till was belly dancing. <laughs> and the bloke was a bloke in this kind of ballet dancing, I'd never seen that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in South Brown? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> and then coming here and then hearing that news, it, uh, it kind of somehow ties in that there's an energy moving mm. that people yeah. can't understand. And, and, and seeing those ripples going out through, mm. it just feels so. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, kind of like a, a, it's releasing this kind of laughter in me. And Beautiful. It's kind of, yeah. But it's just a little bit nervous as well. It's a little bit, whoa, it's kind of like, where's it taking us? <laughs> mm. This kind of woo chi feeling. Yeah. Describing Christine. Yeah. But it's also, yeah, wonderful kind of feeling ripples in my arm. Well done. Yeah. yeah thank you. Excellent. Yeah. So. Yeah, it was um, the first time I saw it on the telly. It was mm. like, like explaining something that I would normally, which I am really interested in, obviously, was so sort of boring to listen to. I could just as I sleep. I, I just found it really difficult to uh, not, you know, like not interesting at all. And so, like um, Christine, I just was seeing it visually and saw like as if it was the two black holes or like mm. owl's eyes and mm. it was just like combining. Mm. And so it wasn't really um, connecting with the with the news on the telly, but sort of vaguely trying to take it in because it, was it wasn't put across like mm. in the way that I would, I'm interested in. Mm. <laughs> and so to hear it here in the class and, and to feel it and experience it and understand it in a way that a more um, right-brained person mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. would understand it. And, mm. it's, uh, it. and it was really powerful here to feel the... Um, mm feel the energy between each person and it was completely different. Mm. It was mm. really nice. Yeah. yeah. Can you see the, the relevance to your relationships with people? Like Phil ringing you up. Please, please, come stay with me for the night. I feel lonely. I got a big black hole in me. Come and feel it. <laughs> right? And you go, oh, what? What? I gotta be there, I gotta be there, I gotta be there, and you want me to fill up your black hole 
no, I, I, I can't, I can't. You know, I got my own inner black hole to it. You know, so what's happening is we are always trying to fill up this bottomless feeling inside us. But it is real. It is you. You are the Wu Chi. That's why so many people seem, don't seem to get it. Because when I tell them you are, you are a light being, but for you to really grasp what that means, you've got to go through the Wu Chi to understand that you and I and everyone in this whole planet is surrounded by waves of energy coming through. The rivers, the seas, the oceans, the rain and your blood flowing in waves right now. Your heart understanding what I'm saying. The music of waves of chi flowing through your heart, pumping waves through the arteries, the veins, to every single cell in the body listening, awakening the fact that you are one with the rivers, the seas, the oceans. You are one. with the waves of creation, every leaf, every cell on that tree, every rock, every animal are composed of waves, even the stone are made of waves of particles of energy. We have come here to take back our power of understanding our wisdom. We have come to walk on this earth again, to walk not as individual human beings. We have come to walk as enlightened beings. I have come to wake up my brothers and sisters of life.